was the thought going through your mind when you became an All-American after two seasons? How did you get into running? How did it all start from you? Was it, or did you take to it like a fish to water? Or did someone poke and prod you to get into it? How did it all start for you? Yeah, that's actually one of the questions I get a lot, which is pretty unique in a way because I didn't start running until my senior year of high school, actually. Um, I played baseball my whole life. I actually wrestled, too, out, like all through middle school and high school. So I kind of have a little bit of connection with that with you guys as well. Um, but, yeah, I started my senior year of high school. I quit baseball to run outdoor track because I started uh, – I ran cross country. And my teammates were like, dude, you have to run track. You have to run track. And I was like, I don't know. Like, I've, I've been playing baseball my whole life. Um, the co- I mean, I had a starting position and everything. And um, they're like, no, you have to do it. I promise you it's the right decision. And uh, ended up – it probably was the right decision. Um, I'm not really built like a baseball player anymore. I'm a little smaller. But, um, I mean, it was awesome. I ended up running 431 in the mile and 201 in the 800. So pretty solid times to get me to run Division three. Um, originally, actually, I, I went to a small Division two college in Wilmington, Delaware, and uh, I didn't really enjoy my time there initially, so uh, I reached out to the Lynchburg coach, Jake Reed, and I was like, any way I could, you know, transfer next year? He's like, you know what, I can get you this semester, and I was like, okay, sounds good, and, you know, I got there, and the rest is, you know, history now. What originally got you to run cross country? Was that something you were doing to get in shape for wrestling? Yeah, actually, my friend was, he's been telling me since my freshman year of high school, I was like, man, like, you got the build of a cross-country runner, like, you're lanky, you're pretty long, um, and you see me running on the baseball field, I used to play baseball with him, he's like, you, you got the wheels to do it, too, and I was like, maybe I'll do it, maybe I'll do it, I told him every year from my freshman year of high school to my senior year, and he's like, you gotta do it your senior year, just, just come out and see if you like it, and I was like, okay, I'll come out, and uh, I remember running my first 5k on the, the cross-country course, and I think I ran like 23 minutes and I was like all right this is not meant for me he's like no just just wait you haven't trained at all like you don't know what your potential is yet and I'm like okay and I stuck through it and I got pretty good I think I ran around 17 minutes which for high school is it's okay so I was like you know what maybe maybe I do have a little bit of a future in this so that's how I got started initially 2019 is your first track season 2021 you're a college all-american at yeah. that point did you kind of feel like uh, a novice did you feel like um nick swartzen and grandma's boy like high score is that good like <laughs> what, what was the thought going through your mind when you became an all-american after two seasons yeah i, I don't know i think initially i was like where's my ceiling where's my ceiling i don't know like how much i can get better i kind of i mean i learned like i don't know, i wouldn't say the hard way but i learned that you know progression isn't always just like linear sometimes it's up and down and you do get slightly better, but it takes longer time to get better. I made a huge jump my sophomore year uh, in 2021. And um, I kind of thought I'd make another huge jump. In reality, it's just like small little jumps. You just have to keep being consistent to make the small little jumps and have to be okay with seeing other people make big jumps and know that like, it's not always going to happen to you again. And it just, you got to be consistent, um, take it, put in the work and you'll keep getting better. But, you know, making big jumps multiple times in a row is it's really hard as a track athlete. I'm sure you guys know, like you probably made a big jump from high school to college or freshman or sophomore year. And then after that, just a little bit bigger, a little bit smaller, a little bit smaller. So it was, it was, it was a humbling experience knowing that at first, but I mean, I totally came to like my senses on that and be like, Hey, I'm, I'm happy with that where I'm at. I'm still getting better. Um, my, the team's getting better, which it's kind of what more I care about anyways, the team getting to another level. So um, as, long, as long as that keeps going up, that's that's what's important.